Gamers! Are you ready to game? Gamers! Hi! We're here! The camera's in a weird position. It is. What happened? I don't know. Hi, y'all! How's everybody doing? Oh my god. The old steps are atrocious. The steps, the, the old steps are so bad compared to the new steps. They're um, so hard to read. I'm gonna say right off the bat, my, um... My, my OBS is telling me that we're getting a lot of dropped frames. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. It looks like my 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 bitrate is going bonkers. And my, my frames are dropping all over the place. I have no idea what the deal is. We're just going to try to keep going and hopefully things yeah. will be okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hit continue now because the loading Oh yeah, there's a big forever. loading. Um... Yeah, anyways, we're here. Yeah. Hi, everybody. How's everyone doing? We got a sub from Miss Disco. Thank uh, you. Straight off the bat. Thank you, thank you. Also, it says, Jacob, have you been working out? I have been working out. Thank you for noticing. Uh, we just started, me and Julia both just started back up working out a few weeks ago, a couple yep. weeks ago. So getting back into it, um, which feels real good. Uh, some people are saying Draw Detectives 2 was fantastic. Thank you. A lot of people are telling me I should be wearing the crop top. That's true. Which, you know, maybe I should. Maybe I should be. Maybe you should be. Who knows? You maybe could I'll be. maybe I'll change into it. What? I still have uh, my notification sound on my phone, I'm sorry. Wow. And we got more subs, Mr. Ronio gifted a bunch of subs and Cactodago gifted a bunch of subs. Wow. All at the same time we got subs coming in all over the damn place. <coughs> Who are you? I need to turn the speaker on so we get who we use. Yes, please. Mr. Ronio, oh, get who you. I didn't plug the speakers in. Four tier one subs and Cactodago gifted ten. Thank you both so much. Who are you? For the crazy gift subs. Y'all, it's been a while since I've played this game. Last time I played it, it was on stream. Who are you? I'm going to have to, uh... Oh, right, we were here. Should we try to do some sort of recap? I would need a you? recap for myself. Um... From what I remember, when we left off... Who are you? Yes. We had... we Throg, Robert Throgmorton, the monkey man... Who are you? Yes. His son went crazy after he came back from an expedition. Yes. And he brought a bunch of crazy with him. Yes. Who are you? And everyone started going crazy. Yes. And um, then we went to where the expedition Who are you? went. <clears throat> Excuse me. I get emotional about the expedition. Wow. We went to where the expedition went. Who are you? And everyone there was also crazy. And there we're in some weird underwater cave. Who are you? Uh, yeah. Where there's lots of like old god stuff. Yes. Going on. Um, Who there's are you? some survivors down here, but we're kind of convinced that uh, that they got a bit of the crazies. The old god you? crazies. They've got some of the old god crazies. So our decision that we've come to is uh, to leave them die, to let them die. Yeah, because if we bring them back... More people might go crazy. They're going to make everybody crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Your voice doing okay? You doing okay? I'm, I'm losing... You sound emotional. I'm very emotional because I'm thinking about the fish man who I love so much. Yeah. The horrible, hideous fish man mm -hmm. that I love so deeply. Yep. And, and they're suffering mm -hmm. with their horrible fish faces that I hate but also love. Yeah. Uh, so I kind of forgot where I'm supposed to actually be going. How's the chat doing? They're doing good. Yeah? You're not supposed to love the fish men. Oh, I guess I have no map of this area. Narset's, um, recap is there's a weird nasty Scientist. monkey and some gross fish people and they're all bad. Yeah, everyone's bad. I think that's sort of the gist of it right now. Oh, that guy's got great thigh muscles. Look at him go. Damn, he got hops. Judy He's hops. He's got some great thigh muscles. Did this... I call him Judy hops last time? I think you did. I think I did too. You gotta get your sludge bath. Mood. I think at this point you were just supposed to leave this area. Big mood. Because I think you had done all the stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought that you too. needed to do. All right. Who are you? Time to go. 
Cam said, no offense to Jacob and Nathan and Karina. I know you did your best, but thank God Julia fixed the stiff emote. <laughs> <laughs> it really does look a hundred million percent better. What? Oh, my crotch inflated. Um, oh, excuse me. I'm dealing with the pressure. Is that the best way to get out of the ocean? To fucking... Inflate your crotch? Hot air balloon your ass out of the sea? Um, yeah, I'm happy with how the new stip looks. It looks nice and legible. Goal number one. It's LB said, don't stip believe in. Don't stip believe in. <laughs> and Narset said, we stand getting the bends and dying immediately. I have to go to Throgmorton. Yeah, you have to go to Throgmorton, and we're letting all the scientists uh, die. Over yeah. Who are you? And we've decided that's the best way to do that. Yeah. Deddy24 subscribed. Who are you? Who are you? And Schmadog. Schmadog. It's Schmadog. That's what they call uh, your dog in Sweden. Schmadog. It's Schmadog. It's Schmadog. See, this is key evidence collected. I know that we were debating between the yellow and the green. This is key evidence collected, and this one says all evidence collected. I was thinking that places that say key evidence collected were only places where key evidence was. And it says all evidence if it was just some evidence was there, but it wasn't key evidence. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Magister Entropy subscribe. Who are you? Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Cam, I did see the drawing that you did. Cam did a drawing of you on her, I on her iPad. Really? Yeah. I didn't miss it. I was busy today, so I didn't have a chance to reply to it. But you did an excellent job, Cam. And also, congrats on getting the iPad and Apple Pencil. Oh, yeah, congrats. You're ready to do all the digital art there ever was. Are you going back to the mainland? Yeah, I'm not allowed to fast travel. I have to be at a... Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. We have shit going on. Are, are we bringing the crazies back? We're bringing crazy back. Oh. Who are you? Magister Entropy just gifted a tier one, so thank you. Oh, we're back in the war. You can tell by our sideburns. That's true. And our uniform. Paper flocking, welcome to your first stream. Now, listen, I hate to remind you of this, Julia, but it's your job to pay attention on you're right, this one. You're right. Sometimes you have to redirect me. I'll get distracted and then we gotta all watch of, the like, cut we all scene. suffer. Because these rocks have some dope tattoos. Uh, it looks very Merida, which just makes me think. If you had the chance to be Cthulhu, would you? Would you? Oh, this guy's getting wormed. Get wormed. Oh my god, Ew. get wormed, you absolute fuck. Hey, what's that, um. Anime where the dude's hand becomes a... Is it called Parasite? It's called Parasite, yeah. Oh, right. That guy got absolutely wormed. I have a Parasite hand. Just, like, embarrassingly wormed. Whoops, he got wormed. <laughs> Lee is Anxious said, Not to be mean, but the old Stip emote was the equivalent of an ad made in Microsoft Word by a man whose favorite fonts are Papyrus and Bleeding Cowboys. <laughs> Listen, that was the point. That was the point of the original stip. The point of the original stip was for you to make it want to stip. Yeah, I wanted the stip to really feel like stip. <laughs> Planet Fiction said the two stips are like you, stip, and the stip she tells you not to worry about <laughs> is the new stip. Yeah. The new stip is definitely the platonic ideal of stip. I got the joke, Planet Fiction, even though the thing didn't work properly. Paper Flaken, Vegeta is my father. I'm Trunks. I'm dating the hottest DBZ. I'm the hottest DBZ Trunks. Trunks. Me. Who, me? Me, 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 me. I'm Trunks. I'm Trunks. Crew of the Cyclops. Simper Fortis, brothers. Brothers. Simper Fortis, Ooh, brother. Yeah. Mood, brother. Oh, that's right. My outfits. I have new out two outfits. Who are you? Of course I'm going with the best one. Yeah, you always wear wind coat. 
We gotta figure out how to unlock more outfits. Hell yeah. Who are you? I'm gonna look that up in a second. We have subs. Cactodago gifted five. Cactodago gifted five more subs to the community. Thank you. And here they all come. So many who use. Unlocked by story progress. Hell yeah. It's all story, story progress. progress. I can Are look all like of Mr. Them? Mr. Mustard. In investigator pack. Oh, that one's hot. That's probably DLC. I like that one a lot. Rest in peace case. I don't like that one. Oh. Bounty of the sea case. Extra hours case. I like that one. Field research case. So most okay. of these are like we have to do certain cases. Yeah. And then we have... <laughs> wow. Great. <laughs> so I already have the best one. Yeah, but you know like I'm going to make one. you wear Mr. Mustard's Magnificent <laughs> Mr. Mustard's. wardrobe when we unlock it. You're absolutely right. Mr. Reed, you were a wearer... Mr. Reed. Are you a record? You were a rare example of a man who treated one of my kind humanly. And I feel I have to repay the debt to you. Take this as a friendly piece of advice. Run! Save your life and leave this drock city to the depths! Don't dig into its secrets, for they are not worth it. There's nothing good left here. Ooh, this you. shit sucks. This place blows, Mr. Reed. It's a shithole. I hate it. I hate it. I, I wish I go. could leave, Mr. Reed. Please heed my words. This place is a poo-poo town. <laughs> Lewis fled. Uh, we got 200 bits from Magister Entropy, and also we got a sub from RX Bananz. Thank you so much, both of you. Thank you, both of you. What? What am I looking at here? What is this? Oh. All that we see or seem is a dream within a dream. Oh, we read that before. That's right. Why is this blowing? That's a very good question. You ever I... have such thin glass that the <laughs> air just goes right through it? I have to guess that a Cthulhu is involved. A Cthulhu is making that go. Yeah, that's a that's an eldritch wind. An eldritch wind. All right. Makes this place feel more like home than this Boston already. So are we going back to talk to Throgmorton? Yeah. Is that our yeah current goal? We got some bits from Magister Entropy. Some salty bits. Thank you so much. Razor Scooter 3000 said, Dear Mr. Reed, shit is whack. <laughs> yeah, basically. So I was doing some reading about this game. You were doing reading? When? About games that I'm playing much. to get helpful tips. I never do this. Oh, like doing research on the game you're playing? Yeah, you know this. I do it all the time. You do, and I just wait for you to give me the highlights. I love to learn about games. I learn about games I'm not even playing. I'll watch, like, tips and strategies for games I don't own. But anyway, I was reading about how... Uh, like, containers, like, briefcases, and, and stuff that holds supplies will just replenish itself if you, like, leave the general area. Wow, That's what a, a good, good look. painting. We got 100 bits from Spivey56, and Melly Selly said, guys, I love you. Oh, we love you too. Love you too, Melly Selly. GF Whitaker, we did read about the terrible fetus, and we went to the terrible fetus hospital. We did. And uh, I think there you never find the terrible fetus is what we discovered. Yeah. Kind of a bummer, really. The terrible fetus was you all along. Who are you? Most least just gifted five. Just sitting like a normal man. Sitting normally? What this are you This is how doing? I sit Who at my you? table, with a straight back, my arms just crossed in the air. I'm watching you. Thank you for the gift selves, you? most least. I'm watching you. Magister Entropy said, how are you guys today? Sorry I didn't ask before. Who are you? Doing and we're, okay. we're doing good. Yeah. Julia always says doing okay. And someday I'm determined to get her above Who are you? an okay. I want to get her in the upper threshold of I'm ways great. of how you can be doing. Uh, we had a nice relaxing weekend, which we definitely needed. We're very tired. Yeah. It's been a little stressed out. Oh, you want to see the sanity meter? 
Oh, you want to see the sanity oh, meter. You want to see the sanity meter. You guys always want to see me, 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 something. Me, 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 You're always like, me, oh, me, I can't me. see crucial UI elements. Me, me, me. Who are you? Evans Vares subscribed. Said thanks me, for the me, laughs, me, Jacob, me, Julia, and the rest me, of SSS. Me, 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 this is a poo poo town. This is a poo poo town. Lewis told me. It's full of poo poo. What do you want? Not, cereal store. Not in a cat. It says general store. <laughs> <laughs> cereal store. <laughs> Have oh. you ever seen a cereal store? <laughs> Oatmeal gazetta. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry for breakfast? <laughs> Where am I? Are you like that frog in a short hike that was like, I love breakfast food. I, I dream about it all night. Food. You know how excited I am for breakfast because last Monday I I went out and bought us eggs Ooh, thinking you. of breakfast we could have over the weekend. Yeah, that's true. That's the good shit. That's the good shit. I did see that the uh, the developer of a short hike tweeted that that frog was his self-insert character. It was mine as well. That frog is everybody's self-insert. Yeah. I love to load. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I can't wait for the next generation of consoles to come out. <laughs> yeah. The PS4, like, the PS4 Basic, which is what we have, we don't have the Pro... It's really showing its ass these days. It's showing its ass. It's really showing its ass. Oh my god, we never talked about this statue. Wow. We never talked about this. He's standing on some dudes. Look at him. He's just like, fuck yeah, look at me. Hell yeah. Did you know that with gorillas, all their power comes from the groin? Yeah. It's all groin strength. It's all groin strength. You don't remember what I'm referencing. We recorded an episode of oh, Drawfee no, recently. Oh no, I was remembering. <laughs> you said that... Uh, Oh no, maybe I'm thinking of a different quote that you had, which is just, humans have the biggest genitals of any mammal? Yes, I did say that. Okay, um, is that what you're referencing? Nathan is the one who said that, <laughs> Nathan said that humans have the strongest chests. And oh, I was like, yeah. oh, I felt like gorillas had pretty strong chests. And he's like, no, all their power comes from the groin. <laughs> it was an episode where me and Nathan just lie a lot. Yeah. We just say a lot of them. lies about animals. Yeah. So look forward to that in the future. I just got a nice picture. What are you reading? Underwater treasures! Wow! Underwater treasures! This dude loves treasures. Uh, yeah. Bad news, Mr. Throckmorton. The expedition members are dead, and the Innsmouthers kidnapped the professor. Those degenerates, they dare get in my way. Uh, Professor Doe. Yeah, that was the the hot lady professor down there. It was like, I love ancient beasts now. Sh should I say they kidnapped Professor Doe? Or that they wanted something from the ruins? Because they kind of did both. Oh, whatever. The Innsmouthers were there to kidnap Professor Doe. They took her and the artifacts she found. And they left the others to die. Artifact? What artifact? Where did you find them? Tell me everything. Your men found some kind of underwater temple. I really need to get In this tea bag out because it's making my tea too tea. I'm gonna take it. The Innsmouth is Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Fenton! Thank you, dear. How did they catch them off guard? Seems that after the seal was taken from its place, I'm going to the expedition forever. Okay. Mental break. I'm drinking chamomile today. People like your shorts. Thank you for the shorts. We're wearing the same shorts. Knew what was going to yeah, kind of, but mine are old pants. Wait a moment. How did you know they were Innsmouthers? One of the attackers. All right, I'll put on the crop top. Expedition. Go put on the crop top. The people have demands. Here's the thing about Jacob and the crop top. Jacob put on the crop top just to like see how it looked, and um, I immediately googled more crop tops for men. But she may still be alive. There are not That's many things that Jacob wears that I'm like, this doesn't work on you. 
don't see that. Crop top works on him. And I'm upset about it because it would not work on me. A crop top is like exactly where all of my my weight sits. And I'm not a heavy person, but my body's just like you want to feel self conscious in like one belt. Here you go. It's like I'm just gonna shove all of your your weight that you've gained to be a healthy weight into one belt area. Who are you? Master Entropy. Just gifted a tier one sub. Thank you. It's true that crop tops are gender neutral. Jacob just needs more crop tops. Pretty boy is logged on. You can't even see it when you sit down. It's just like a regular shirt. Oh, there we go. That's the stuff. <laughs> Let's go, babies. Not politics it's politics. true. No one can even see it when I sit down. Yeah, when you walked over, actually, they could see it. It covers my whole belly when I sit. I have to lean back to reveal the crop. It's a hidden crop. It's my little secret. Is this TOS appropriate? I can be delicate. Oh, you are a true tummy boy now. I am a tummy boy now. I'm a tummy boy pretty boy. You're a tummy boy pretty boy. I'm a pretty tummy boy. His name is Herbert Glover. Thanks everyone for all the crop top support. Collector of fine art. I'm a detective, Mr. Throckmorton. Like I said, I don't think there's many things you don't look at in society. Did you roll the sleeves? Mm -hmm. It was a nice touch. Thank you. You know I love to roll sleeves. You do. Rolling sleeves is the, the true look. Here's a here's a tip for everyone. If you have a shirt that you don't like, roll the sleeves. And you'll find that all of a sudden it's dope again. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. This case must remain secret. And you must I don't know what I just agreed to because I was just thinking about you and the cross up again. Thank you. Here is Herbert's address and it You have to investigate Herbert. Okay. You'll find it. You have to investigate some asshole in Herbert. Uh, Jacob Andrews crop top says, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> the day has come. We're finally there. Wow, I just got a lot of things. Holy shit. I got wow. two foot traps, and wow, that what? makes me nervous. <laughs> foot traps? You gotta use both because people got two feet. Yep. Got to trap each One foot. One for each foot. You got to place them out very uh, carefully. Okay, where am I going, Cotton Eye Joe? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Planet Fiction said Herbert the Pervert. And I think, yeah, probably. We got to go get Herbert the Pervert. Okay. Throgmorton's expedition was attacked in the depths of beneath Oakmont. Professor Harriet Doe, expedition leader, was captured. The others were all left to die. The attackers all had distinctly fish-like features. Innsmouth syndrome, as the locals call it. One of the assailants was killed in the fight. He carried a dagger and a peculiar golden amulet, which resembles a fish eye. This can't be the only attack that have they have carried out. There must be evidence of more... getting tired okay. <laughs> Robert Thrawn Morton wants me to find Professor Harriet Doe to do this you I already must did that investigate and discover who attacked his expedition we already did that we gotta go find Herbert Herbert Glover Herbert Glover lives in Golden Gold Bridge Road in Old Grove Wind half and Century Ave. Jake Martin gave us 300 bits and said, I'm going to go back to lurking, but I'm glad I could talk for a bit. Make sure to take care of yourselves first, guys. Try not to get burnt out with all the stuff you guys are doing. Thank you. Thanks, Jake Martin. We're, we're trying to maintain that balance as best we can. For sure. Okay. Sajare one said, I used to think Jacob had bad opinions, but now with the crop top, he's so convincing. <laughs> Between Windhalf and Century. Yeah, Central. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, it's like here. Okay, I can walk there actually, which is great. I'm also going to agree with Red Ravens, who was talking to you, saying that you could definitely rock a crop top if you had some super high waisted That's pants. That's true. And I think you could rock that look for sure. If I had, yeah, I do have super high waisted pants. Maybe I'll, I'll look into. A you crop can try top. it on my pretty boy crop top. I'll we can share it. I'll try your pretty boy crop top. Yeah. Maybe I'll wear it to work tomorrow. In our super cold office. Yeah, it would not be fun in the office. Oh, I meant to buy a blanket for the office, actually. Marine Pixel, I don't know where the crop top is from. Nugget Maber sent it to me in the mail. <laughs> That's true. Ask Nugget Maber. Ask Nugget Maber. <laughs> People are saying Julia could rock anything. Let's be real. Thank Julia's you, thank also you. a pretty boy, and I'm so proud of her. <laughs> Thank you. But if you get to wear the crop top, I get to hold the sword. That's the agreement they're saying. That's fair. If we know where the sword is. Only Cassie knows where the sword is, and Cassie's on vacation now. I don't know what house I just entered. It just looked pretty, so I wanted it. <laughs> Holy God. Oh! oh, I found his house. I have stumbled into Herbert <laughs> the Pervert's house. Herbert the Pervert's house. Was that him? Give him, give him the old revolver. Yeah, but I'm outside and there's people and I don't want other people to shoot me. Well, don't you don't aim it until you go inside. You're just holding a bear trap. <laughs> I hear him slurping around in there, doing his. Oh, Herbert! That was so casual. Nice. Nice. Got him with the revolver. Ow. You dick. No! Lee is anxious. I'm going to try to get a good picture in the crop top. Yeah. I was trying to take one earlier, but we couldn't get good lighting. Because I live in a basement. And I was too shy to go outside. Can't carry any more casings. You better make I'm... some bullets! I'm on it! I hate to get saucy with you. So early in the stream. So early in the stream. Oh, he just turned into a, a pool of goo. He gooped. Ew. Who are you? Who are you? Excuse me, who are you? Where's your arms? Where's your arms? Look at your abs. Damn, though. What's your workout been? Been hitting the core, but you've been skipping arm day, clearly. Tell me your routine. Arms fell straight off. Who are you? Clearly, she hadn't been skipping titty day, if you know what I'm saying. Hey. Hey. She has been I skipping. I love this wallpaper. She's been skipping polygon day, though, because she's pretty low poly <laughs> compared is. to everything else in this house. I love the wallpaper. What was that? Who are you? How do I crouch? Okay. What's this? Sun fight! Sun fight? Sun fight soap. Sun fight soap. For once I read something correctly and it was nonsensical. Mr. Throgmorton, it is with the deepest regret that I must inform you that the price for the piece you have requested has changed once again. Wait, Julia. Can I give him a pervert voice? Yeah. The demand for it has increased, and now it's triple which we agreed earlier. I know this is the second time I've raised the price, but the extreme circumstances of the flood make each piece almost invaluable to me, as I cannot replenish my collection. Herbert Glover. How was that? That was good. Did you like it? <laughs> Is now single! Here come the steps. <laughs> Ladies! Oh, hell yeah! Well, I keep a 40-year-old newspaper article. 
Just got 245 bits from Magister Entropy. Thank you, Magister Entropy. Princess Throgmorton, the city's darling scholar and adventurer, is once again an eligible bachelor. For the text on Rebel. <laughs> oh, I love this shield. Why is this shield so high res? It looks like a happy shield. It does. I hear slurping again. What is with this curtain? Why is there lava in the fireplace? There's a lot of There's questions. magma in the damn fireplace. Is that how we thought you did fireplaces? You have to harvest magma? I'm hearing more slurping and I hate it. Oh, Magic Impact found a link to the crop shop. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I gotta see what else is on this website. I want a crop top. Got some cool tees. A shirt that says Gal Pals. Gender, Gender roles are, are dead. dead. Hell yeah. This site's dope. Oh, there's a Gal Pal crop top. Nice. What top won't they crop? You know what I'm saying? Are you in his wine cellar? What's that? There's an item. Oh, you're just gonna take a statue's head? I guess so. But you can't carry any more bullets, bullets. because I just made a metatron. Well, that's fine. Look, you're doing great. Thanks. You're doing great, sweetie. Thank you. You're doing great, sweaty. Oh. Give the pretty boy crop to Julia and wear the gal pal one myself. We match too often as is. We both can't. Yeah, if we went out and themed crop tops, I think we would be. Um, put in jail. Put in jail. <laughs> We'd be put in couples prison, absolutely. Look at this wallpaper. It's beautiful. Whoever oh, in this... Oh, there's so much nice shine on it. I know. Whoever in this studio is in charge of making wallpapers for this game, they've really crushed it. Who are you? I won't hesitate. <laughs> are you Gideon from Gravity Falls? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Grunkle Stan. Oh, I won't hesitate. Stanford. Stan, Stanford Pines. Stanford Pines. Uh, Jacob and I are watching Gravity Falls, which is my like favorite cartoon, and it's Jacob's first time going through the whole show. We just passed the boy band episode. Oh, so it was such a good episode. What was the guy's 2013. name? 2013! Deep, Deep Chris. <laughs> Deep Chris. Whomst. Still wide open. Can see the <laughs> the coming point. He's got a face like, like, oh, just thinking about some things. <laughs> Felt cute. Might delete later. I still wide open. Oh yeah, Can several times. Coming. Several times. I'm trying to remember the other, and uh, several of them were voiced by Lance Bass. Is what I was looking up. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest What's of them all? That? <laughs> What's that? Picture of a mirror. Well, Looks that's like clearly where it went. Set. One of the mirrors was taken. It, they trapped it in the paper. No mirrors in this game work, anyways. That's true. Well. Welcome to this place. Who are you? We got five tier one subs from Slam Dunk Benedetto, which is a name I still love. Who are you? Day. It is pretty great. Huh. That's so Who are you? Shots. Or they were bad at aiming. Cabbage Crow said there was a statue downstairs missing its head, I'm pretty sure. All right, I will go investigate. You gotta do your... Oh, there's a thing over there. I know, I'm, I'm walking over to it. 
You're gonna have to like Legends of the Hidden Temple this shit and like assemble the statue. Hell yeah! But watch out for the Temple Guardians. They're gonna grab me right up. Damn, that guy's got a fierce pose. Yeah, he does. Nope. Meanwhile, Artemis over here is like, you see this shit? Look at this shit. This is where you sit. I guess that's look at the know. dead guy. Oh, okay. I, I've killed him. Ah, Jesus Christ, I've killed Duh, a dude. Oh, dang it. Shit. Oh, oh whoopsie doodles. doing this shit. Oh, no. I did it again. Easiest gig in this district. You grab the mirror. I'm gonna go see what other loot we can take from Mr. Moneybags here. Um, what's your accent, bud? Can we figure out what it I'm is? I'm a little bit of Irish and also maybe Brooklyn. <laughs> Did you want to f settle on one before you started talking or no? No, it's me doing the Pierce Steel voice. Yeah. What in case name are you doing in my house? Okay. Let's see what we have here. So it's definitely this one first, right? This? Yeah. The then this one with this the shooting. District. You grab the mirror. I'm gonna go see what other loot we can take. From. And then the last one where they stabbed him. What in K's name are you? Squint run! I was thinking... Oh, squint oh, run! Okay. Oh, I guess it's Poseidon, huh? I've Got to try him. now. Two men broke in to steal the mirror. <laughs> one of them squint. Sounds like the beginning of a joke. Whoever... <laughs> two men broke in to steal a mirror. Second. Whoever's sitting here is getting real judged by Athena. Oh, you're getting gooped. Athena's just like... Came to this house wearing this shit? Yeah. Wow. Wow. No wonder they put you in the judgment corner. Disrespectful. Look at this vase! Look how high quality this vase is! Nice vase. I love this shield. Dude's just got a damn museum house. Yeah, he does. Look Don't at all me. my statues. Look at all my safes full of poopies. Like scratches around the keyhole. I store my turds in my safe so I can gobble them up later. I'm Herbert the Pervert. <laughs> Herbert the Pervert. What? What, game? What do you want? Oh. Oh. Somewhere. Is it? I just forgot what button it is. You just have to, like, look. You have to get to the right angle. Oh, that's right. I think it's up on the wall. No? Oh! There it was. Now hold X. I'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a normal way to look in a mirror. <laughs> Put it on the table and, and do a, a full yoga bend over the top of it. Look at this woman. Man! Magic Impact said, Jacob, the crop top doesn't give you freedom to say anything. And Planet Fiction said, Jacob, do you ever think about what you're going to say before you say it? I think the answer is no. The answer is definitely no. Jacob says whatever is going to be the funniest thing to say next, and he accomplishes it every time. Well, I don't know if it's going to be funny until I say it. Here's the thing. It's always funny. Well, thank you. That's so nice of you. Sometimes it's super not, though. But then my job is to keep repeating it until it's funny. But then you just, like, keep going and then it becomes funny because you just start leaning into it. What? It's called comedy. I've trained with the finest comedians of New York comedians. City. All that for one first aid kit? What? Let me out. Alright. I guess that's it, huh? What's in this door? Fucking nothing. Bye, Fairy Orb. Sorry again about your shit internet. Never letting Sorry. me watch. Our dropped frames have gone down. That's good. We do have 19 frame drop notifications, though. That's great. Which is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. MG and Kroll said, can you find that lady's arms? And Red Raven said, Jacob, are you still doing the Windy City bit? 
And the answer is yes. Always. Yes, always. All right, am I going back to uh, Throgmorton? Planet Fiction said a dog ate my ass and I got all cummed up on. Which no. you've reversed. It's I got all cummed up on and a dog ate my ass. And a dog eat my ass. A dog eat my ass. That's what made it so funny. Yeah. Was the, the tense was a dog eat my ass. <laughs> what was I singing that to? You weren't singing it to anything. Uh, you were you got bit by a dog in like Resident Evil and you were like, a dog eat my ass. <laughs> I think you even said it before. We weren't even streaming when you said it. No, I wasn't streaming. I was just playing a game. And then I brought it into the stream so everyone could enjoy. Yeah. You made me live in that shame. Live in the shame. Alright. I guess I'm going back to Throgmorton, huh? Let me out. Okay, before I do something stupid, I'm gonna do that. Cause I forget Look at this the... cloaky guy out here. Look at this Bloodborne over sir, here. Sir, do you remember the button for how to climb shit? I found it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your help. Thank you. I think the thing about it we have to remember is Sir. I, I got cummed up on and a dog eat my ass were both things Julia said. That is true, I did say those and things. And she said them accidentally in the heat of the moment. But it took a true connoisseur Sir. of comedy Crunkle to combine them. May I have your hat? Who yeah. is Ebenezer Scrooge ass motherfucker? Ooh, I like this guy's outfit too. Hey, sir. <laughs> He's just like, please, if I just ignore him, maybe I'll stop. Notch from uh, Minecraft? Oh, no. <laughs> Notch. Notch. Do you feel bad about literally anything you've ever said? Notch? Notch. I love this new um, thing people are doing online where they claim that Notch never existed and didn't make Minecraft. Have you seen people doing this? That's a baby. Leave that baby alone. I did not see this, but I love it. That's right, Narset. It's Hatsune Miku who made Minecraft now. Oh, we, we've wow. We've revised history, and now Miku made... Congratulations to Hatsune Miku. Miku made Minecraft. I'm willing to believe it. All right. What you trying to do right now? I guess I'm going to Throgmorton. I don't know. I was just looking around. Throgmorton! Throgmorton! I was just begging around. All right. Oh, what's in here? Oh, what a lovely little park you've got. Oh, the leg made me just spin around and go into a nonsense direction. Look at this yieldy bus. I love it. <laughs> Time to climb on top and incite a riot. <laughs> I don't like that newcomer. <laughs> He's always doing his weird dance on top of the old bus. Notch. Answer me. Notch, I see you. Notch. What are you doing? You're not Notch. You're a fake Notch. Hello, sir. I like your coat. May I have it? I like this that this part of the town is Louisiana. I know. I love it. For some reason. It's very pretty. Ma'am. Ma'am. Are you Notch? <laughs> Are you Notch? I caught you in my trap. What, um... <laughs> what are you doing? Ma'am? Ma'am? Ma'am. Are you conducting an invisible band? She's just like, I Are you practicing a speech? You know what's happening is that she, like, left a conversation where someone said something stupid and she had no rebuttal. And then now she's like, could have said. Like, oh, that's what I should have said. said oh, this. So oh my many god, that would have been so good. Oh things. my god, it just if I could go back, that would be just. <laughs> she's gone back. Leave this woman alone, ma'am. Oh, you frightened her with the camera. She's put her hands up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's fine now. Don't take a photo of me, please. That's one of those boxies got. What, what you got in there? Anything? You fish in there? 
I'm gonna leave you alone. I must insist you stop just bothering the denizens of <laughs> Louisiana. Fisherton. Fisherton. This car lights are on. Is this a vehicle that works? <laughs> Drive! <laughs> to the hotel! <laughs> to the hotel! Crawford! Wow, look how pretty this uh, scenery is. It is nice, isn't it? This is a really cool setting. I love that some of the houses are, like, slanted. What's that? What's this fancy building? S.A. Quam Fideri. Can I climb? Whoa! You just parkoured that shit! Parkour! Holy shit! Oh my god, dude, don't climb that! It's sharp at the top. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. Aw. Oh, oh. Oh, I did it! Wow. I can go in. Oh, it's an openable door. Oh, it's not an openable door. It's Carpenter Manor. We're gonna find an openable door. Oh, look at this little place. Nice. There are no fish in there, so that's so far the best house we've found so far. Oh, I found the actual entrance. Who are you? Don't you have work to do? Um... How would you know? Yeah, probably. Butch. Sir, can you open the door? Don't you have work to do? Sir. Don't you have work to do? Sir, Don't you, you have work to you do? Have work Don't to you do? have work to do? It's got a little melody to it. Yeah, it does. It's a little sing song. Don't you have work to do? Don't you have work to do? Can you open the door, please? I like your house. Who are you? Are you Mr. Mustard? That's I'm not Mr. Disguise. Mustard. He looks like he might be in disguise. Okay. I'm That's gone. Dr. Brownie. Dr. Brownie. Don't you have work to do? <laughs> Sora! Sora! Sora, don't you have work to do? Throgmorton! Hello, Throgmorton! Every time you show up to this guy, you're telling him that someone is dead. To be fair, one of those times we just told him people were dead. The bad news is he's dead. Indeed. Did you discover who killed him? Not yet. Then why are you wasting my time? Find me Glamour's killer. I need the name of the man who crossed me, Mr. Reed, if I'm to make an example. Okay. Don't you have work to do? Do you ever think about the voice actor for Donald Duck and you're just like, I'm so sorry for that dude. He had to do a whole game's worth of dialogue in that voice. Oh, you mean for Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. yeah. Kingdom Hearts specifically? Yeah. That's so much dialogue. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Sick, bro. Don't you have work to do? Oh, man's twitching out a little bit. Hey, don't you have work to do? Sir? Sir? Other than just getting on people's cars? Are you talking to me? It doesn't seem like anyone owns these cars. No. No one ever drives them, that's for sure. Yeah, because I think they're all busted. Every car is busted? Yeah, why not? Some cars must be non... non-busted. 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 Where's okay. your next destination? Destinazione. Uh, such crimes throughout the city. Wait. So... Can I, like, go to the library and look up? Because there must be mm -hmm. evidence of more such crimes throughout the city. Yeah. So do you think I could go to the library and look up, like, oops, that's the wrong button. 
Who are you are supposed you? to kind of wander around right now? Maybe. TTK9712 just subscribed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, look at you, fancy lad. Love your coat. Your legs are pop poking out the oh, bottom. Oh, damn, you got right? high boots, too. I wonder if... Oh, yeah, I heard about the Minnie Mouse voice actress dying recently. Oh. That was really sad. It is sad. The last Minnie she did was the one with that expression that you love so much. Oh, really? Yeah. That's upsetting. Yeah. Very sad. But she had, like, a very long career of voicing Minnie Mouse. Yeah. And did an incredible job at it. Yeah, she did. Don't you have work to do? I'm trying. Don't you have work to do? Don't you have work to do? I feel like you could make a dope track out of that. Hell yeah. So, um, uh, um. What are we looking at here? What are we looking at here? This almost looks like a like a bad robe. This I think is a bad robe. But it's in the trash. So maybe they've decided enough with the racism in this town. I'm putting my clan days behind me and I'm turning over a new leaf. Woof. All right. Yeesh. Yeesh and I'm out of here. I'm maybe out of here. I'm trying my sir, <laughs> sir. I need out. There's bad. <laughs> there's, there's bad, bad robes in here. here. There's bad people here. Please sir. get out. <laughs> Jacob Andrews crop top said, "I made a Jacob." Oh, oh hell yeah! Yeah. Look at this cool ass Jacob with sunglasses and everything. Really rocking it. Don't you have work to do? That's gonna be stuck in my head the rest of the day. Don't you have work to do? <laughs> Don't you have work to do? Alright. That man is talking to existence. Clarodactyl subscribed. Thank you. Look at that. Ah! That was good. Thank you. Julia, don't you have work to do? You're just running up to random houses. I don't know the best way to approach this. Am I supposed to go to the library and then, like, search? for facts, or am I just supposed to walk around town and see more evidence of crimes like this? Because I could look at houses that maybe have lights on and then maybe that indicates that I can go in. Well, I think you could, there's always marks on the doors when you can go in. Yeah. Okay, cool. Do you want me to look it up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. Don't you have work to do? Well, because this one didn't, and it was the house I was supposed to go in. Oh, was it? Yeah. That's the house. Wow. Wow. Got hair on my phone. Wow. Julia cut my hair today. I did. She razored me up good. The stinking city. Don't you have work to do? Don't you have work to do? Thank you for the compliments on my hair cutting job. Magic Impact said, Julia, what talent don't you have? Dancing. And I agree. But you could, though. I danced once in front of Jacob, and he said, why are you dancing like a dad? Well, you were doing it to be funny. You weren't, yeah, like, genuinely... True. Yeah. Also, dancing should be funny. <laughs> it's for fun. That's true. Alright, can I get the damn quest guide, please? For fuck's sake. Fuck. The, this gate is open. I'm getting fucked up, Sora. Oh, I just found a house. Is this the house I'm supposed to go in? Alright, Throgsburg first Oh, meeting. I found a house. Finding Albert Throgmorton. I found a, a possible lead. I'm just going to look to make sure. That's Light good. Lightboat, Lewis at the bar, report to Robert. Don't you have work to do? 
don't you have work to do? Also, I'm very bad at learning languages. That's something I can't very much do. Also, musical talents. I'm always... People who can do instantaneous harmonies, that's like a, a sort of wizardry to me. Well, that's a skill you learn also. People don't just like instinctively know how to do that. That's true. And also, all the things that you struggle with are like directly related to being deaf for the first eight years of your life, so I think you get a pass. It's true. Oh, I hear scratching. All right, we did Sanders. We did the dive. Explore caves. Hey, what kind of pool is this? <laughs> um, guys? How do you play this you, kind of pool? <laughs> there's only one... There's an eight ball and 12 you, cue balls. How do you win? <laughs> you get 12 players together and everyone um, just shoots at the same time for the eight ball. How do I... Okay, quid pro quo. Okay. So you can view the history of robberies in the police archive. Okay, that's what I thought. Oakmont Police Department is what you need. Okay. Well, I'm just going to keep investigating this house. It has birds in it? Don't you have work to do? Don't you have work to do? Oh, that's that... really stuck in my head. Yeah. That's a map. Don't shoot yeah, the map. Yeah, look at this weird nebulous area that is Canada. Haven't we talked about you pointing guns at things that shouldn't have guns pointed at them? Oh, nudies! Oh, hell yeah! Get the camera out. Zoom in. I can't zoom. Oh, nice. nice. What's that one on the right doing? I don't know, putting on a robe or something? Oh, I thought that this was like a leg. Oh. <laughs> I thought like she had like a leg, like she was hoisting yeah. a leg up. I was going to be like, is she just like full buttholing us right now? Like you just zoom <laughs> in and she's just like going full butthole? But no. No. Is there nothing to this house? I'm just gonna get my gun ready just in case. Are there any baddies in here? Why? Oh, nice. -A. That's like more like O T N. I don't know what the last one would be. I. I. O T N I. I mean, they were like an artist or something. Oh, they were. They were doing like anatomical. This house is definitely for a. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're like cheersing. They're like holding it yeah. this way. They're not holding it the bad way. Okay. I mean, we did just find those bad robes. So, yeah, you know. we found the bad robes, so now I don't know anymore what we're going to find. Okay, I'm going to police archives. This was a bust. This house that I just stumbled upon was a bust. Um, police archives. That's at the library? At the police station. At the police station. That's right. I forgot there was the a police Oakmont station. The Oakmont Police Station. Oakmont City Hall, University Library. Where's the, where's the police? Is it down there? What looks, is that it? You're right. Look at me. You're right. You're I can right, recognize right, 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 a badge right. when I see one. Okay. My mommy has a badge. Azra Sam 17 said, important question, coffee or tea? I'm a both. Why you gotta choose? I do drink both quite frequently, but coffee is my true, my one true love. And tea is, I just enjoy. I enjoy tea, but I love coffee. I love hot cocoa. Magic Impact said, uh, back to my old point, when I met y'all and spoke to Julia, I felt such warmth and that I was respected. I hope that I can have this aura when I become a teacher. 
Oh. That's really nice, and I'm glad we, we gave you good vibes. Yeah. And um, I'm sure that you'll be able to have that aura when you're a teacher. Hell yeah. If you're a kind, caring person, that will come out in your interactions. Yeah. My mom uh, is a teacher, and she... I've never met someone who's, like, so... She, like... She's just someone where I'm like, oh, you were born to be a mom. Like, she just has such mom vibes, and she's so good at it, at, like, taking care of people. And, uh, all of her students say the same thing. And, uh, it says there's a fast travel point around here. Who are you? Born to be mommy. Um, she's got such warm vibes when you talk to her, I think, right? Yeah. She's a real chill lady. Driving down the highway. Gonna be your mommy. When uh, gonna I, change your diaper. When she was getting her forearm tattoo, the dude who's doing the tattoo was like the same age as my brother, uh, essentially. And my mom's an EMT, and um, and I think he saw this because she had her badge on her. It was just like attached to her wallet, or whatever. And so he was talking about the time where he broke his eye socket. <laughs> my mom immediately went into like that mom tone she's like and how did you do this <laughs> and he immediately went into like child being investigated by mom yeah pose where he was just like i got into a fight <laughs> <laughs> i love that your mom was momming someone while getting a tattoo yeah she Momming help. the person tattooing her. Really, she was just asking because uh, she's an EMT and she loves those kinds of stories. But it came out in mom tone. She can't help it. My mom's a very nice lady. Ooh, look at you in your pose. Wow, he's got this, so many cords on him. This Are you pose drunk? doesn't make sense. Though his weight is like not... <laughs> Yeah. He'd be falling backwards. His weight is, like, all on his core right now. Yeah. Officer. Well, look who finally decided oh. to show up. He's got Ray gold Charles eyes. Reed, the genius to crack the case of Albert Throgmorton. Captain Caleb Lyons at your service. What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? <laughs> okay. Damn, dude. I just want really just getting some vibes from you straight off the damn bat. to your records during my investigations. Otherwise... I'll keep out of your way. Oh, that's all you want. <laughs> I love people who are like comically combative. Yeah. For no reason. I'm sorry. Look at his sad face. Well, that's what you did. A newcomer must know his I definitely know people like this. Yeah. You ain't welcome. It was like, I always am reminded of this time we had a house party here. And there were a bunch of people over who I, you know, didn't know and had never met. Easy. And I was, like, talking to this group of people, and they asked what I did, and I was well, like, oh, I work for College Humor mm -hmm. as a cartoonist. And, like, the dude, I think, was, like, threatened by me or something. I don't know what the deal was. But he was immediately like, oh, you work for College Humor, so you're some kind of, like, funny guy. And I was like, I mean, I guess. So I don't know. I draw funny comments. Guy? Like, you're some sort of, like, funny man? Like, why don't you tell us a joke? And I'm like, I, what? I don't, it doesn't mean I know jokes. Yeah. Why are you so mad at me? That's so weird. Someone said that my mom's Twitter is very funny. Um, thank you. She just tries to be positive. And also complains about books a lot. Everyone's saying, some kind of pretty boy. <laughs> some kind of pretty boy. Bloopity Shmoo said, was Frank at this house party? <laughs> How's it going, dude? You drunk at this house party, dude? Are you drunk at this house party, dude? Okay. If you guys knew how often we said, how's it going, dude? How's it going, dude? It's literally all the time, every day. Alright, so we need to figure out robberies. I don't think we know, like, a district, specifically. Can we, like, leave that out? I thought it was district. Can we do, um, 
It's a property crime, right? Is it? Or is it because it was robbery? Oh, okay. I thought specifically we were talking about... So it's... So it's an attack. Beneath... In the depths beneath Oakmon and... Fish-like features. So we could do suspects? JMJ Bird, we probably won't ever stream House Party because it's too <laughs> X-rated. I think we would get, uh, I think we would get in trouble with Twitch for that. Yeah. Just go watch the Game Grumps play it, because them playing it is one of my favorite series of videos. How's it going, dude? And they would, they did a better job at it than we would anyways. Oh, I found it. Oh. It was violent crimes. Well, I'm wrong. Because it said the attackers all had distinct... I'm weapons. wrong. I'm wrong. I was wrong. At the fish market. Sue me. Send me to jail. Chop off my hands. That's a lot of repercussions. Throw me on the top of the tallest tower, and then throw me off the top of the tallest tower, because I was wrong on the internet. Is there a bug there? Yeah, there's a bug on me. I'm done with my with my bit. Uh, at <laughs> Please continue. 10.30 p.m. April 15th at the Fish Market, Eastern Shells, corner of Orchid Ave and Holy Fire Lane, I apprehended a suspicious-looking inn's mouth there as he was stalking a young woman. The suspect had his in his possession a peculiar golden amulet, which resembled a fish eye, seized, as well as a dagger, seized. The suspect resisted arrest. When I tried to cuff him, he cried for help, screaming for his brothers from EOD. Several other armed Innsmouthers appeared from the fish market. I was forced to release said Innsmouther and retreat. The suspect got away. The case is pending further investigation. Cole Phelps. Ah, uh, from Hotline Miami. From LA Witness. Mm -hmm. From LA Fitness. From LA Fitness, yeah. Okay, uh, corner of Orchid Ave and F Holy Fire Lane. Cat Dragon sent me something on Twitter. I'm gonna look it up while Julia's doing this. Is there more? This hot biz. Okay, there's not. Holy Fire! Where's Holy Fire? Oh, is it this other pretty boy drawing? Oh, amazing. What we you got, got Look at your boots. I know, I got some nice boots in this drawing. Gonna give that one a like. A like, Rooney. That's dope, thank you. Fish market, eh? Uh, people are saying maybe check criminal pattern. Okay. Although this this guide I'm seeing Orchid says Ave you go to the fish market and meet Anna. That's what I'm thinking. That's what you should be thinking, because that's what you do. Holy fire and... Holy Orchid. fire! Holy fire! Okay, I'm going to go there. Go there. So I have to fast travel... Because then I gotta go on a boat and do that whole thing, so. Do you have uh, any shells I could steal? Got lungs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Throgmorton's in mourning, and there's just a regular boy on that. Who's that boy? Who's that baseball <laughs> boy? That's not a gorilla man. No, that's just a normal boy. Also, there's just another lady on this desk. Oh, sick. They've got the hottest fully clothed women <laughs> photos in vaguely suggestive poses. Yeah. Are you the only police officer? Now I understand why you were defensive. Also, maybe take the help if you're the only police officer. Yeesh. Oh, he's too busy leaning. 
Also, shouldn't he be like working if he's the only cop? All right, done complaining about him. All right, fast travel. Science Who are fiction you? wants me to draw my Newsday form, but wearing a crop top. Nice. Maybe I will. Chris may bite has subscribed. Chris may bite. And says, I hope you two had a great day today. We, we did. We did have a great day. We had a, a nice, slow, easy morning. Went and got some coffee. Yep. It was nice. We've been relaxing. Played a little bit of fire. Only. I ate an eclair. He ate an eclair. I had, I had a black and white cookie and a chocolate chip cookie. We had pho for dinner. Mmm. That fun was good. Don't you have work to do? Don't you have work to do? Fish market! Fish market! Welcome to the fish market. It's I very love the fish dark market. here. Hi! You can find more fish Who in people's you? houses than you can find in this fish market. That's true. The future meme. That's David. Hi, David. Hi, fish. David. Fresh How fish. you doing? Take a fish. Always a pleasure fish. to see David in the chat. Take as much as you need. Whenever David's in the chat, I get the vapors. Slade just told me to take free fish. Oh my stars! Mind the right place. You sure are. <laughs> Julia Lopater is in the chat and just said, "Julia." Charles Reed. Just a few questions. Julia Lapater. Of course. Ask away, Charlie. Toad said maybe the Throgmortons start out looking like regular kids and then grow into their apeness. Mm, what what do we do as an organization? Well, we are a non-profit charitable organization. Actually, it's better to say that we're a gathering of volunteers. We're not an official charity yet. As for what we do, we try to help ease the suffering in our city as much as we Why can. Why do you have a big cult eyeball oh. behind you? How do you do that? It's a big fish eye, fish see? It's a fish on either side. Wow, double uh, double-tailed fish. Double fish. And many, many more things. You coming on to me right now? Anything. Everyone has a dope coat in this Anything game. Anything to help the people, Charlie. That's been great chatting with you. I'm actually here to speak with the EOD leadership. You know where I can find them? <laughs> Not so fast, Charlie. Nobody meets the top brass without being a member. You need to earn a rank in the EOD first. Oh, you kidding me. So it's a Before. weird pyramid scheme? What's going on? <laughs> you need to prove yourself. Show us through your actions that you're worth our time. Is my no, name Charlie? Or I don't just think your name is Charlie. Charlie. Sorry, Charlie. <coughs> so, uh... We don't do this for money, Charlie. <laughs> we do this because it's the right thing to do. Think of it as... I don't trust you at all. Why don't you get some money, honey? It's for anyone who plays Bioshock. What does EOD stand for? Everyone's obvious duty. <laughs> when we began, it also had cool to help each other. But do you have anything to do effort. with that weird mansion with the man outside asking me if I have work to do because uh, they're a little a little culty, maybe? How can I join? all depends on what skills you can offer us. Don't you have everyone's do you obvious best? duty to do? <laughs> I'm afraid my resume Not as catchy. Jacket. Let me see. I was in the Navy during the war. Never since it ended, I've been a private eye. The sea provides. Turns out we have a job. She keeps like holding out her hand like she has a cigarette, but she doesn't. She is waving it like she should be holding okay. a cigarette. Yeah. Tell me more about this job. The only reason I would want to smoke a cigarette is so I could stand in a pose like this. And then yellow your fingers with the cigarette. I would hate that. Yeah. But I, I, well, I'd have one of those, like, long cigarette oh, okay. holders. Yeah. And I would sit like this and hold it. Yeah. I'd just kind of scowl at people. And you want me to find whoever this thief is, right? You're smart, Charlie. Ah! I like it. What the hell? Exactly. <laughs> What's happening with the light? What's happening with the light? Where's the moon going? Moon! Thank you. Here's the address. Tell the guard the password. I serve the sea, and he'll let you into the storeroom. Alright. I serve the sea. See you later. 
Okay. You want a fishy? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Best character in the damn game right here! <laughs> you want a fishy? <laughs> you want a fishy? Oh, I didn't before, but I do now. You want a fishy? <laughs> you want a fishy? You want a fishy? Please Holy team up with Don't shit. You Have Work To Do, man. Do you want a fishy? <laughs> Don't you, you have fishy? work to do? <laughs> do you want a fishy? Have work to do? You want a fishy? Oh my god. Oh, I'm god. so happy to know we can return here at any time. Just and hear that woman that say, woman. Do you want a fishy? <clears throat> oh, this used to be an okay place to live. Okay. What are you selling, mister? I don't see any goods. I offer what everyone in this Borg needs most. You want a fishy? Borg? What's a Borg? Where are you staying? The Devil's Reef Hotel. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Think so small. You oh, want a fishy? A man of your talents could earn his board a hundred ways. Maybe you want some more spending money. Yeah, but not right now. Sorry, mister. Oh. Ooh. Is that just a tank full of eels? Who are you? Yeah, it is. Do you want a fishy? Duel! The queen has returned! The Who stream you? queen duel has returned once again. Hey, shark. Thank you for the gift subs, duel. Who are you? You want a fishy? I'm getting eaten by the shark. Who are ah. you? Warlock octopus. the first time you meet one of the fish people, he does comment on the appearance. Yeah. You have an option to ask why they look like that. And they're basically just like, hey, fuck you. Yeah, basically. Because that is a rude thing to ask someone. Yeah. Why do you look like that? Uh, I'm not in the mood, newcomer. Oh my god, it's the fan of the opera! Titanic forces aren't welcome. Infinitely. Forever. You did remind me of my favorite movie scene of all time, which is in Phantom of the Opera <laughs> when. She finally pulls the mask off of the Phantom. And for some reason, and this is in the recent movie, when she pulls the mask off, he just has, like, one boil, and his yeah. hair turns white. His face is not that bad. It's super weird. Why does pulling off his mask make his hair white? He had on fake hair attached to the mask. I guess this same wouldn't be complete. I just love that movie for the amount of cape flipping. This guy's got a shiny vest. Oh, he does. Ebernote Blackwood. Blackwood. That's the ne oh. next draw detective's witness. Oh. <laughs> I'm back in. Don't you have work to do? Don't you have work? Do you want a fishy? That's a dope title. I'll see you around. <laughs> I'll see you around. Bye. Enjoy your empty mansion and severed history. Ebernote Blackwood. Uh, in the shells, Hawking Lane between Warren Road and Liberty Road. Hawking Lane, sorry, between Warren Road and Liberty Road. For those of you talking about a musical episode of Droppy, we have one coming up. Hosted by the one and only David here in the chat. Who knows more about musicals than any of us ever will. That's true. And it's a, a very fun and silly app. The only musical I know anything about is Phantom of the Opera. And it's just because I've watched it six billion times. Uh, Liberty Road. Hawking Lane. Liberty Road. And Warren. Okay, so it's like here. Everyone's very psyched about the musical episode. Mm -hmm. 
I'm trying to think of the name of my favorite fan of the opera song, and I can't remember what it's called. Because I have this thing where if I have one song stuck in my head, I can't think of Isn't a different song. Isn't it like song. the point of no return? Yep. Yes, it is. Nailed Good job. It. Thank you. I know, th I know things about you. Yeah, you do. Point of the Return is the best fan of the opera song, because it's so creepy. So creepy and dark and spooky ooky. Also, because their harmonies are dope! Hey, harmonies. And it's also where I feel like the main character lady really, uh, finally makes, like, any decision. In that play. I like Music of the Night a lot as well. Trouser Meddler. It's probably one of my favorites. Oh, the night. Ah! Well, you came out of nowhere. Oh, man. I'm going to be listening to Fan of the Opera tomorrow at work now. Boat time! Boat time! Uh-oh. Boat's a little glitchy. Beware there, partner. Boat's a little glitchy these days. <laughs> la, 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 la. What? Are you... Do you need a rescue? Are you okay? Sir? <laughs> Sir? Sir? Is this where you meant to be? Is this where you're supposed to be? Do you... Are you okay? I can't even get out to help you, so never mind. This part always reminds me of in the new Golden Compass book, which I for some reason cannot remember. Oh, the that's name a cool recently. barge. Yeah. Uh towards the end of the book, or I guess like the halfway point of the book, uh the city gets flooded. And the main character has to take a boat everywhere. This is just what it reminds me of. Am I like in the ballpark where I'm supposed to be? You yeah. know, it's a, it's a mystery to everyone. Just uh, cooking my rat. My very normal rat. That's my friends. Oh. oh okay, bye. Where'd your rat go? Mule4242 said it lets you swim anywhere the boat goes, so it should be possible to reach him. Oh, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that either. But also, isn't there, like, stuff in the water that eats you? And nibbles at your health? Probably. My, my health is not doing the best, I'll be honest with you. Is that guy barfing? Oh, nice, dude! Oh, yeah! Get it out. Better out than in. <laughs> That's so much barf, my man. How do you How get much that barf? much barf in your stomach? How much barf do you have in you? I think you need a doctor, my friend. Okay. Activated that fast travel. Uh! <laughs> Is anyone concerned about this? Uh! Y'all! Does anyone want to do anything about someone this? Someone call the fire brigade! Are we Shit's just, on fire, are yo! Are we just cool about this one? Oh, someone did call the fire brigade, and the fire brigade it's said fuck this. Ineffectually spurting water onto the ground near it. <laughs> um. You gotta aim it at the fire. The firefighters rolled that thing up and were like, our work here is done. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. That sign just says drug. 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 I really got that stuff stuck in my head now. I know. I have a little soundtrack on my phone. Maybe I'll listen to it on my way to work tomorrow. And Planet Fiction said, lift up the puke man. <laughs> puke on the flames. Puke Out the Flame sounds like a heavy metal song title. It does, yeah. I found it. Who are you? Puke Out the Flames. Nice sideburns, dog. I serve the sea. <laughs> I serve the sea. I serve the sea. Finally. Do you want a fishy? Daryl Grimes. Do you want a fishy? Daryl Grimes. Okay. That's just like a combination of Walking Dead characters. Yeah, it is. This is a Walking Dead ship. <laughs> Passwords. Orders from the higher ups. I don't get to ask why. Can you tell me what happened? Don't skimp on the details. <laughs> Browntown 2000 said that puke man wanted too many fishies. It was a bad 
TFW, you have too many fishy. Fishies. Come on, guys. <laughs> Nearly got him with a harpoon by K. But I missed in the dark. You got away that day. But I won't. I missed in the dark. Do you remember find you? Find you. Yeah. You ever watch uh, Anastasia? No. The animated one? It always weirded me out. Yeah. Because it was like a Disney movie, but it wasn't. In and the Dark of the kid, Night I, is a fun song. I couldn't, I couldn't handle that. I couldn't handle a lot of things as a kid. Demons will find you. Find you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing right over. That movie has some dope music. Not for his bald head. That guy was as bald as an egg. I could see the moonlight reflecting off the top of I may be a fish man, but at least I ain't bald. I got this beautiful head of hair, as you can see. All the ladies love me. <laughs> you can see all the individual Pretty follicles. <laughs> That's how you know it's there. Scared him off before he could. Where did he go after that? Don't know, pal. He was way faster. Than so oh. fast and so bald. I just realized what my actual most controversial opinion I have is. Remember on Friday's th stream, I was trying to think of the most controversial opinion I have. Yeah. My most controversial opinion that I have is that Thumbelina is a god awful movie. That's not controversial. No, people get so defensive about flipping Thumbelina. That's because they haven't watched it in a long time. Since they were children and they now, just remember it. They didn't realize that she gets kidnapped like twelve times and then sold into marriage a bunch of other times, and then the moral of that movie is nothing. Nothing. All's fresh, still smells of the sea. More like Dumbelina. Yeah. For real, though. Why is this the Seinfeld font? It is the Seinfeld font. <laughs> Only the most flavorful Seinfeld. <laughs> What's the deal with seafood? Could y'all calm the fuck down? Who's making noises down there, huh? I do you want a fishy? Oh, you're Ding, good. Nah, nah, nah. Cap their ass. I saw another one. I saw you, motherfucker. Whoa! Really thread the needle on that one. Jesus! You fucking know it. They can really get it through there. But you can get it through there, too. Nice. Nice. She's done it. The greatest combatant who ever lived. I'm getting better at fighting in this game. At least those dudes. I feel like I'm finding my stride. You might want to take a mid kit if you have one. Yeah. Your health's a little... A little yeesh. A little whoopsie doodles. You want a fishy? Do you want a fishy? In the dark of the night, what the fuck? What? What? Is you, it him? Are you just freaking out? <laughs> that dude is absolutely kissing a fish. Yeah, he is. He loves it. Wow. Oh, there's your male nipple for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, oh, dude. Oh, look, and he has the bird tattoos, like sailing. He's absolutely kissing, kissing the fish. That is a tender fish kiss. This is the Jeez. kind of shit I play video games for. Hell yeah. To see the man kiss the fish. Mm-hmm. The beautiful love between man and fish, truly, is one for the ages. In dreams I kiss this fish. Oh, hello. <laughs> is it like warning me that a big old bug's about to attack me? I think you're just going crazy because of this crazy room. I have questions. <laughs> Same. Oh no. Did somebody poop out a bunch of stuff in this chair? Is this a poop chair? Was that the barfing man? I have questions. I have questions. Was that? 
Bullwits. Can't carry anymore. Bullwits. What? Toads what? gave us five bits for male presenting nipple. Things dead as a doornail, but I can see any wounds. Other than just like the whole general look of it, which is kind of a wound. <laughs> First it ate the fish, now it's dead. Now that's Come on, fishy! <laughs> There's a lot that's troubling about this. Charlie! Is that a... What's going on here? Oh, you're seeing, like... I think you can follow it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We can go back up with it. Follow the goop. Whoa! What is this? That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. Alright, mine sounded. Some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. My sanity is going down, sir. Could you read the damn bottle faster? Why don't you get some money, honey? Don't you have work to do? Don't you have... Do you want a fishy? Did we investigate up here? We did not, right? Was there any more crazy eye stuff to find? I don't believe so. I'm boats! Gonna... Boats! Boats! I love this boats! It's a toy boat for me! Boats! Don't you have fish to fuck? Like, That's what Planet of Fiction said. For this. Well, if it was finished, that is. Charlie OG said, I'm going through a lot in life right now, and I'm glad that you two and the Droppy crew can provide distraction for it all, so thank you. Thank you. That's what we're here for, Charlie OG. That's true. I hope that things get better in your life. And until then, we are here to provide some moments of reprieve if we can. Uh, Lee is anxious and confused about what's happening in this game. Basically, we came to this uh, sinking city, and there's a bunch of mysterious shit happening in it, and we're trying to sort of figure out what's going on here. Yeah. A lot of people here just keep going insane yeah, and that's having like... weird visions and dreams, and your main character, the detective guy, had one of the weird visions. Yeah. And so he's basically here to find out why he's having these weird visions, and also why everyone here is having these weird visions. Who are you? Duel the Queen gifted a sub to Charlie OG. Thank you, Duel the Queen. That's super Thank nice you. of you. That is very nice of you. Oh, did Cam do a do a crop top, Jacob? Oh, look at that oh, one. Oh, let's go. You're so you're so pretty. I'm pretty boy. You are. I'm pretty boy. This is on your new iPad, right, Cam? It looks great. Yeah, it looks awesome. I'm definitely prettier in this than in real life. That's not true. You're equally pretty. She captured your your prettiness perfectly. Don't you have work to do? Don't you have work to do? That's gonna be the alarm that I wake up to. <laughs> and you'll wake up and be like, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I do have to go to work. Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. Grey Wolf 1983 said, "Hey Julia, I drew you fan art. I drew fan art for you. Tweeted at you a few weeks ago. So eventually you'll unbury it in your feed. <laughs> LOL." Uh, I'm sorry if I've missed it. Yeah, a lot of stuff like doesn't even show up. Yeah. Okay. In mentions. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so it's I a think... weird problem with Twitter. Like mentions won't show you every mention you have sometimes. Yeah. And like I have found things that are that I'm tagged in that are not in my mentions that I've just stumbled upon randomly. Yeah. I hope Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Just a little bit more. Oh no. So I think he was like looking for something, he made a noise, and then this guy was alerted. Darn pests. Mare take them. Mare take them. Come back, you thief. Oh we got Don't another one. Not to mess with us. Oh people. Yeah, nice. Poison the fish with Miss the Disco, I love it. I, made a noise, which I love all of these crop top photos. Thank you. And by photos, I mean drawings. I know the difference between a photo and a drawing. 
Harshmellow says, absolutely loving draw detectives. All the NPCs are amazing, especially Officer Anna. Oh, thank you. It was a fun one. You're freaking out right now talking to this man. Yeah, I am. Are you sure? That's what the evidence suggests. Can you go back to the I did not mean. I thought I did. Thank you, dear. Please don't tell Holly was my fault. She'll have me quartered. Don't worry. I won't tell her. You seem like a decent sort, Daryl. I'll, uh, I'll make some of them. That's Mr. Reed. Here's a little something to Yeah, and it was fun. Um, Take care now. <clears throat> I needed Still at least one helpful NPC in the punished. second episode. Yeah. I'll stay on guard duty for the next month. The third episode, I'm even more excited for you guys to see, because it is right. such a delight. I'm very excited. Draw Detectives is legitimately the thing I'm the most excited about that we're making right now. And by we, I mean that Julia is making right now. <laughs> and and we get to participate in it and just have fun with it. Looks like some kind of torture chamber. Know anything about it? What? 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 That can't be true. I know this place top to bottom. You don't even know about your own torture chamber? Yeah, that smarmy look. Oh, people are liking Flem Mucosi as well. <laughs> the animation of him sniffing each time. That big drip. Yeah, it really got me. Okay. I'll talk to Anna. We'll see if your story holds up. See ya. May the sea protect you. May the sea protect you. A key to the fish storage. I have mine palace things. Okay. Everyone is thanking Nathan right now. Oh, okay. Because you got to. The poison fish is spreading. Large quantities of possibly poisoned fish have already been distributed to the city's poorer citizens. That's what the poor need. More problems. You want a fishy? You want a fishy? DOD is giving away fish. What about lab flask? No. Without the fish provided by the EOD, the city is at risk of famine. Despite the fact that there are just crates and boxes full of fish Everywhere. sitting in every home in the entire city. Wait, we don't have one that goes with yet. The poisoner and the university. The man who broke into the EOD fish storage is somehow connected to the university. I need, I need to visit to the university. university. Got it. 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 Without the fish, oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Let's go to the university. Who are you? To the university. Who are you? Lucy's angel. Thank you. Um, Who are you? Okay. And Jackie thirty five zero eight. Thank you so much. Thank you both so much. <laughs> Magister interview said they used the fish to fuck Jacob, not to eat. Come on, <laughs> you kiss the fish and then you starve to death. Um, school is it one of these? No, it's a city hall, right? Oh, I found it. All right, don't you have work to do? Cabbage Crow said you got to see Anna too. That's true. I want to do a full investigation before I talk to her, because she seems like she might be. Investigation. Investigation. Full investigation. Full. Oh. Rat cats. Oh, hey, this place is open. Uh, how do I smash? I'm going to get one of my Celsius. You want anything? No, I'm good. Thank you. Don't you have work to do? What's up with this place? What's up with this place? Why am I freaking out? <gasps> Secret. Ah! Why is it coming at me with a gun? Chill out. I'm hearing a lot of like real, real cray noises. Did someone come at you with a gun? In a vision. I'm like losing my mind a little bit. I don't know. Um. Whoa. 
I can do without this. I can do without this. Thank you. Come down here with the little cat rats. Wow, there was a lot in that garbage. That song is stuck in my head so bad right now. You know we're gonna listen to it. Brick. After this. Brick. Praise our brick. House. House. Everyone in chat is saying I'm either making them gay or straight, depending on if they were gay or straight already. I hope in like the positive way. Yeah. 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 Like I'm not turning the straight people gay. Well, wait. No. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yes. In the good way. In the good way. Everyone turn gay or straight in the good way. In the good way. <laughs> <laughs> if you're bi, then stay bi. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. We're very confusing for... In the bi audience, apparently. I'm just wearing a Droppy shirt today, though. I mean, that's also pretty hot. Droppy. Droppy time. Who are you? Stanch Yeti. Stanch Yeti. If you're ace, then just keep doing you. Keep doing, keep, keep being you. You're, you're doing great. Keep doing your thing. Who is harmonica-ing? You keep doing. If you don't know what you are, that's then fine too. Welcome to the party, baby. I'm pretty sure half the people don't know what they are, and that's fine. I'm just living my life over here. Yeah. All right, it's a stitched mouth lady. Oh, we haven't seen her in so long. You want a fishy? She can't even say, "Do you want a fishy?" Kiro Sveta said I'm aromantic, but I read it as I'm aromatic. I'm <laughs> and I really liked that. Yeah. I just smell good. I just smell really good. I think... I think something that needs to be more widely accepted is just knowing that it's okay to not know what you're doing. <laughs> yes. You know? I feel like that's something you learn as you age, hopefully. Yeah. Is that it's fine just to fucking be and be like, I don't have any answers. I don't I kinda, know anything. I kind of got to like my 20s and I was like, I don't know what I am. And you know what? To me, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to keep going with the flow, I guess. Yeah. It doesn't always need to have a specific label or a specific title. Yeah. I'm more comfortable abstaining yeah. from title. Yeah, absolutely. It's only, what is it, what do they say in Queer Eye? It's only... Mood, brother. It's only one pillar that makes me. It's not all of me, it's one pillar that makes me. Um... Pillars are what I use to go to sleep on. Bye. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. EOD fish storage. Okay. As long as whatever you're doing doesn't hurt anybody else, then you're good. Yep. You're good and keep on doing it, if that's what you want to do. Nugget Maver said, never plan anything, never think, only run forward and scream. Basically. So I feel like I'm living Also, my thanks life. again for the crop top, Nugget Maver. What am I supposed to be doing? He's connected to the university, but where do I find that out? Am I even at the university? I'm at the university the library. library. I think that, this is, is that, the university. You know? <laughs> this I don't thing that need, looks like a campus. I don't need your sass. <laughs> I'm I don't helping. need your back talk. Mm 
Wow. I also just want everyone to know in the chat. Tastes better than it smells. I'm gonna keep working out and get a six pack, mm -hmm. and then I'm never taking off this good. crop top. It's a good look. It's a good look for you. That's gonna be it for y'all. And me. And my professional life. <laughs> I feel like the day that you discover that you can literally pull off any article of clothing that you want. As long as you have the confidence to do it, um, that's it. I'm, I'm ruined. I'm out. It's just, you're going to be too powerful. Well, I feel like you need to know the same thing about you. Eh. Exactly. See? <laughs> <laughs> Let me in! Oh, I'm not the stupid chapel. I don't want the chapel. I want the university! <laughs> So it said we should make shirts, including crop top options, that say, you kiss the fish and then you starve to death. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the university? Vegan Luigi said you can wear any article of clothing except for hats. You can't cover that hair. And here's the thing, Vegan Luigi. I really can't rock hats super well. Most hats, if I put them on, I look like a real douchebag. No, not so much. And I wish I didn't. Beanies I can do. Oh my god, this is not where I need to go, but I can. Look and at I'm, this fucking luck I'm of the Irish. I'm going to. God Come damn it! On. Why? Let, let us in. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> yeah. I need a way in. General advice to anyone is that if there's something you want to wear, flip and do it. I don't care about, mm. you know, gender roles and clothes. Uh, if you want to wear it, do it. Um, I like suits. I like men's tailored suits. So I'm not even, like, in a position to tell anyone to wear anything specific. Just have the confidence to do it, and you can flip and do it. But in particular, Jacob can pull off uh, just whatever he wants. Thank you, Julia. Because you are... You make me feel real A very good. handsome boy. You support me, and I appreciate that. Jacob wants to wear a crop top? You can wear a crop top. What if I want to wear a crop top as pants? Okay. See, then there's And the, the... hole's, like, where my butt is. Well, there's the legal aspect that we may need to consider. I thought you supported me. <laughs> <laughs> I want in! Look at this shot. This is a very wow, noir yeah. shot. Jacob! You have to go to the university. Where is it? This is a flippin' church or whatever. Is this it? Oh, that's probably it, isn't it? That's probably it. Is it? Or is that a graveyard? Looks like it could be a graveyard. I mean, this is University Street, right? Yeah. That's the university. That's the university. <laughs> the thing with the penis. That's the university Found right it. there. You gotta go to that Wangus. Gotta go to that Wangus. Where is the... There it is. Okay. Wow. All right. Mania said I have this really nice velvet cape and I wanted to wear it to school, but I was afraid people would think I'm really weird. But now I'm determined to wear it this year so I can have fun, but I can't find the cape. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a twist. Something that... I, I real and this is um, real legit advice. Something that I learned when I went to FIT was that, and FIT for those of you who don't know is the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City. It's pretty famous. It's one of the most famous fashion schools in the world. Um, is that you can wear anything 
as long as you own it, have the confidence, and also, like, pair it with something that really works with it, you know? Yeah. It's just, like, I saw people wearing wild shit at FIT, and I was like, damn, I want to wear that. Because they just owned it. It, like, stopped being weird, and I was just like, shit, they know what they're talking about. Yeah. You know? Just wear whatever you're comfortable in. I'm not saying everyone's got to wear wild stuff, but, like... It's good advice. You know. Wear whatever you're comfortable in. Also, we're fortunate enough to live in New York City. That's a good point. Where you can literally wear anything. Yeah. And everyone will ignore you the same as they would, no matter what. Yeah. And I also, you know, fashion school. Everyone was just doing whatever. Wow, cool this textures. This fucking mashed potato building. <laughs> hey. Hey, you want to look? There it Thank is. Thank you. <laughs> You want to fish it? Cheaper than the rest? What? What's cheaper than the rest? The rest of what? The rest of what? What are you selling? Department of Medicine. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Welcome to Old Buck University Department You look exactly like Hello, another sir. person we've talked to. Yep. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions if you don't. Just with different hair. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Uh, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap. And the other day, I could get right to it, but we're uh, somewhat hindered right now. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Everything's That's crawling with creatures. A little unconventional. And something went wrong. Really. I'll clear it. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free? Uh, Tradesies. We'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? Oh, I guess science could help itself. All right. Yes. You solve all problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. All right. All right, I'm gonna go kick some ass. Where are the assholes at? I see one, he's a big boy. What is that? That's like the one that was through the wall. Oh, here comes a little boy. Oh yeah, fuck him up. Fuck him up. Oh, you fucked him up! I knew it was going to spew, so I got out of there. Your health is a little low, so be careful. Yep. I'm being cautious. Could you fucking come here? Nice. The lab is clear. Then that who's was, that big boy? That was easy. I guess you can just go over to that big boy, then. First aid kit. I'm going to use that right now. Yeah, use that right now. That's a good idea. March 2nd. I have finally received a living specimen. Sadly, it's only the smallest one. The grunts call it Mr. Handsome. That's you. Oh, thank you. But I think it needs a proper name. March 3rd was thinking about the name for the specimen all night. I have began a series of experiments on the creature. So far it has proven exceptionally resistant to all poisonous substances at my disposal as well as acid electrocution and shrinking though it haunts me. March 5th, last night I had a vision, thousands of hands wrapped around me as a blanket as I heard a name inside my head. Stygian Harvester! Stygian Harvester! <laughs> Jake Martin said, All this advice you guys are dishing out sounds kind of easy on paper, but I'm such a bland person that it's hard to follow through. And that's okay, too. I think it's uh, it's one of those things where you can take it step by step, you know? Yeah. And also, if you're, like, happy and fine with what Absolutely. you're wearing and doing, then don't feel any need to change it. Absolutely. But if there's something you, you know, want to try or want to do, you can try, like, a small way to sort of push into that territory. 
and uh, you know, take it take it step by step at your pace. Step by step. Yeah, I um was super hesitant about. I'm glad this thing's dead. Why do they even keep it here? It's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Wormy. Stop with the larva thing. Um, I. Um, I didn't experiment a lot with clothes. This. What would happen if I press this button? Should I or shouldn't I? Where does this go to? Anyway, I was super hesitant about um, wearing any article of clothing that drew attention to me, even while I was at FIT and even after. And then I decided to like. Then I, one day I got gutsy and I I wore. I think I wore like a my Austria coat to the office. That was a dope day. Dope day. And then I started pushing it a little bit more, and then I started playing with outfits a little bit more and getting more comfortable. To all staff and students of the University of Oakmont, henceforth any mention of the everyone's obvious duty organization, also known as EOD, its symbolics, current and or past members, as well as espousing their beliefs, is forbidden on university grounds on pain of dismissal and or expulsion. The administration has received numerous reports of EOD activity and outreach disguised as so-called charity work through our university and all over Oakmont. This dangerous activity has reached epidemic proportions and cannot be tolerated. Hmm. Administration of the Board of Trustees! CPC uh, has a thing for you. Ooh. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. I love it, CP oh, so Sleep. Sleep. I, I say Sleepy C Slug. CP Sleep. 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 I love it. Thank you so much. This is my new favorite thing to do in this game. I did it. Your lab is certified creature free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Okay. Uh, we finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. Beans! How can you tell if someone's been poisoned with rice? The symptoms take several days to That's what I say when I'm like first, making a stir fry for dinner. Cold, but over several days. Beans? Like I'm just ricing, baby. It develops into <laughs> cooking it up, tossing it. Internal mm -hmm. organ failure and death. But it's then it does lead to bad. internal organ failure and death. Yeah. Unfortunately, so that's the downside. Get rice. This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. About that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study, in our poison store. Or we did. I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. There's some kind of cure for ricin? Afraid not. Once it's in your system, it's a death sentence. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's mm. not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. On account of all the ricin he eats. <laughs> <laughs> On account of he's been very poisoned he, by ricin. He, he keeps getting poisoned by ricin. But probably somewhere in Adam. Most of the teaching staff live. Who are you? Wait. Dapper you trash. Dapper trash. Thank you for the sub, Dapper trash. You let me upstairs. I. Well. Uh, all right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key. Okay, great. Remind me about Sorry. ricin. <laughs> How much of it can I consume before I die? may have taken a bit of it. I think we're basically at the end of the stream, so let me just finish up in this building and then we are, aren't we? call it a day. Yeah, it's 11. This game goes by so fast. It does. It's real easy to just keep on going because you keep getting like new leads. Yeah. Edwin, Edwin Westerbrook. This is absurd. <laughs> I like the finger waggle. <laughs> it's been five months and they still haven't finished repairing my office. 
I'm done sitting in the corner like some kind of waiter. I won't step foot into this building again until the works are finished. Or you give me Cavendash's office. You tell that to the board. I'm through with this farce. Westerbrook. Did he know you were going to come here and shoot the lock? Nope, he told me not to mess with their stuff, but <laughs> here we go! This, look at this screaming skeleton. The same as the one with the poison. Yeah, they sure do. They say rice and right on it. He's like, Ah! Super good poison! Too much rice and! look exactly the same as the one with the poison. I'm, I'm getting some sort of clue here. Ah! There's the clue. Found the clue. That way. That way. Follow the body. He was pointing to the right. Who are you? Duel of the Queen oh. has gifted a tier one sub to Gazobert. Gazobert. Brothers and sisters, crossed out. Familiar. My fellow Americans, crossed out. They're American Sioux. Citizens of Oakmont! How much longer will we put up with those fish faced bast? Crossed out. Those sea freaks! You sea freak. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. This is a uh, Grey Wolf's fan art of you. Oh, that's awesome! It's really dope. You got on some, like, armor stuff. Hell yeah. With some fabric. Dope. Well done. Um. How much longer will we put up with this? Those K forsaken degenerates who call themselves the EOD crossed out. What are you suckers pointing at? Oh. oh. Key who are you? soap. It's key soap. What is this key soap? Duel the Queen gifted a tier one sub to Jake Martin. Thank you again, Duel the Queen. Thank you. Doling out subs to everyone who needs them. I was going to say you're a true Robin Hood, but that doesn't really apply. <gasps> oh, mold. To make a decent copy. Except it's super shallow, so maybe not. Yeah, maybe not best work you've done. Mind Palace! I want to go downstairs and the students, like, J were you just shooting off I locks? Heard, I heard gunshots. Did you find the screaming skeleton? Um, okay. George Cavendish, Cavendish, a professor at Oakmont University, is the poison thief. He made himself a copy of the key to the poison locker. I love the poison locker. Poison locker. According to a student, he lives somewhere in Ardent. Whoops. The poison thief. The poison thief. Alright. None of these yet. None of these yet. Thank you. Was there any other places you could go up here? Can you go in that close for maintenance office, or did you already? I could not. Isn't that what you had the key for? I thought you did. No, the key was for the basement. Oh. Well! My... Um... I guess we call it here? Because I think I'm done in this building, right? Thanks, everyone in the chat, for being so supportive of each other and uplifting. Yes. It's always really nice to see all you guys being good to each other. Yeah. Very much so. It's good to have a nice little corner of the internet where everyone is, is kind and cares. Yeah. It's the best. Also, where people say secret fish fuck society. You know? You can have both. Can Get you a chat who does both. Are we, uh... I think so. We calling the, it? The next one is to go to Advent. You're right. That's gonna be it for tonight, guys. We'll be back 
on Wednesday to play something else. Yes. Of my choosing, I guess. I'd like or our you. choosing. What can you tell? He's one of the most brilliant. His biochemistry stuff. I just want to see if he knows I where know. he lives. I hope he gets. Bye. See you. And not. we'll be back next Sunday, probably for more Sinking Sundays. Yeah. If you want to keep going on this. It's like an easy, fun game to play, so I don't mind continuing. It is. It's, uh, there's a lot of, I don't know, it's just, it's very fun. I'm legitimately enjoying the game, but also there's just a lot of goofs in it that I love. Yeah. Look at that dude with sticks in his basket. Thanks for being cool and chill, everybody. You? Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, Droppy Stream tomorrow night. Oh yeah, Droppy Stream tomorrow night at... S at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Brennan will be there. Brennan! Goodbye! Bye!